last video we learned how to find compounded interest this video we're going to find compounded continuously well again last time we used compounded periodically at some point we stopped it for example annually monthly some annually quarterly and so on and so on and this time it's continuously there is no limit so well how are we going to approach it before i approach to the formula i want to make sure go investigate the compounded formula first let's see we can come off something from that so Compounded formula amount is future value is equal to phi is the present value open parenthesis 1 plus r which is the rate over n is the periodically number of periodically to the power n times t so that's the compounded formula if it is compounded annually is going to be 1n if it is semi annual is going to be n is equal to 2 if it is monthly n is equal to 12 if it is daily is going to be n equal to 360 quarterly 4 and so on and so on now I'm going to investigate something here. Stay with me here. So if I try to invest $1, invest $1 with a 100% rate and for one year, look what happened to this formula, okay? That's very beautiful stuff is going to happen here. So I'm going to actually invest $1. Invest $1 plus rate is 100% over n to the power n times 1. So, what is happening here? This formula becomes a new shape. It, go, it is going to be something like that. Future value, which is total amount, is equal to 1 plus 1 over n to the power n. Look, why is 1? Because 100% is basically 100 divided by 1. 100 is equal to 1. That is basically our future bell. Look, these two are different looking, even though almost similar meaning actually down here, because we are investing one dollar, that's why it changes appearance. Now, if I change this n, as n approaches, as you'll see, n approaches to the big number. In other word, n approaches to one, then it goes big. Well, if n approaches to one, it's gonna be one plus one over one, to the power n which is also 1 so is going to be basically 2 2 dollars that is going to give us 2 dollars actually that is going to give us 2 dollars well exactly 2 dollars in this case 2 dollars now if n value is going to be 360 then what happened actually let me Okay, let's use the calculator. This calculator is very handy and see what is happening here. So one, open parentheses, one plus one over one, go to the right, to the power one. Definitely you'll see, well, of course it's gonna be exponent, so it's gonna be up on top, enter. So that's a $2 exactly. Now, I have to skip. So, you know, I'm gonna go n equal to 360 daily. So let's take a look what is happening. Now you'll see, a huge change here 1 plus 1 over 360 we know daily is 360 go to the right and of course close parentheses this is the power button and 360 enter look what happened bingo 2.7145 and so on so as n increases n increases i'm going to actually use one more actually so open parentheses 1 plus 1 over this time I'm gonna go with compounded every hour I just take a big number here maybe if I look into every hour I can actually put down 8640 8640 as my n and go to the right close parentheses and to the power same n 8640 look what is happening here it's almost look at this so we are trying to say that as n approaches, as n approaches to the bigger number, n approaches to the bigger number, these terms are to be a rational number. It does not have a convenient decimal point. So this decimal representation does not terminate or does not repeat as you see. Mathematician therefore agreed to denote this number by using a symbol called E. Or I can write down for here E. So that natural log in this case this e is called natural base or euler number so euler number e is approximately euler number e is approximately 2.7183 maybe okay 
2.7183. Now, if you look into this, right, I don't really have to worry about this one because most of the almost most of the calculator have this built-in E. So how can I type this in? I can even type this all. This is the E actually. So E, this color must match. So therefore, it is gonna. We have to press second, then press ln. If I press second, ln is gonna give us e to the power x, and I type it whatever it is actually. So I'm gonna use the calculator actually. As you see, this is now BU base. So what we are gonna do actually, we're gonna introduce continuous formula. So what is that continuous formula right now? Now let's continue with the continuous. So let's introduce that. So future value a of an investment of fee compounded continuously at a rate of r for t years is found by a is equal to principal e to the power r times t rate times t so this is basically right there as you see principal and this is the e and of course what is the e e is 2.7183 approximately and r we should be known and t we should be known so let's read this problem now let's see we are able to find the answer so what is given here actually is in this case the principle is given so as the rate is given and also the time is given so all we can do is just substitute it so 34,000 E, I don't need to actually open a parenthesis here actually, I can just put down e to the power, just like e to the power, r in this case 6.9% or you convert to decimal and times the t, times the t in this case is 25 years. Good, so we have everything ready and of course the calculator is going to be very handy for this kind of formula actually. So I'm going to use the formula here TA30 access multi view and of course any kind of calculator is going to be very nice as long as it has a built in E in there. So I'm going to type in 34,000 review and notice that I don't want to use open parentheses. If you do it's fine, it's a little extra work. So then second LN I already mentioned second ln is going to give you e to the power now you type in this thing here 6.9 percentage if you calculate has percentage you just type in if it doesn't have you can run to decimal and times by 25 enter bingo answer is there so what is the answer 190,000 so amount is going to be continuously is going to be 190,000 825, 825.72 cents. Well, why? Because money answer we should convert into a, you know two decimal places. We round it up. We can even round up here. So we go to mode, we go to float, and we choose number two, enter. Look, we have to get out from the screen. So we're gonna clear, then enter again, as you see. $190,825.72. So that's the continuous. interest. That's how we find the continuous interest. Thank you.